श्री गुरुभ्यो नम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम कल सुंदराकार सदक प्रिय दर्शन अज्ञाननाशक सद्गु मुरलीधर ये स्मरणमात्रेण जिह्वायां वर्धते स्वयं महामंत्रस्थम भजा मुरलीधर देशिक प्रेमृत यो मुरलीनाद श्रीकृष्णूपेण पुरा बवर्ष अद्यासो यम मुरलीधराख्यो पुष्णाति प्रेमनाभुवन सहर्षम संकीर्ति महामंत्रे तत्रभूय तण सुप्रसन्नो भवेदस्थम प्रेमिक वरदम भजे मुरलीमंडित करकमल मुनिजन मोहनम व्यतस्तपाद वनमलादारिण प्रेम भक्त मंडल निर्ति प्रेमिक वरदम आश्रयेहम नाम संकीर्तन यप प्रणाशन प्रणामो दुखशमन हातम नमा हरि परम हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे सद्गुरुनाथ महाराज की जय नमस्ते ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रेंड्स आई बिगिन बाय ऑफरिंग माय हबल प्रोस्ट्रेशंस एट द होली फीट ऑफ भगवान एंड बिलवर्ड गुरु महाराज by whose grace i've been blessed with this wonderful opportunity to join you all in this session of answers and beyond and i wish to thank every one of you for taking the time and effort to be a part of this as we move on we will take this question that a friend from our satsang in india asked us once and this is how the question goes it is said that chanting mantras helps one to attain mental focus and progress spiritually i am a person that does not have knowledge of the scriptures or the great sanskrit language i am educated in the modern way i find it hard to understand how repeating a mantra of which i do not understand the meaning would help attain such progress how does it work can you explain the mechanism a very good question i'm sure that is running in the minds of many friends who are listening in particularly the younger ones and addressing this question would certainly help understand the importance of significance of chanting mantras because as our guru maharaj says friends if there's one path that truly is timeless that truly is relevant now and will always remain relevant it is our sanatana dharma you would find that it is complete in every aspect if we are looking for the spiritual treasures they are countless if we are looking at it from the point of view of philosophy it would leave us awestruck if one were to look at it from the point of view of a poet the sheer beauty and sweetness of the scriptures would absolutely leave everyone breathless 
if we are looking for science, there is science. If we are looking for logic, there is logic in abundance. Anything that you look for, you will find in this beautiful dharma, and which is the reason why it remains timeless. It is current. It, there would never come a time or day when we would say that this is outdated. This is old stuff. We need to reinvent ourselves. Never the case as far as Sanatana Dharma goes. And it has been proven time and again. That every fact, even if we were to look at it from the scientific lens, always correlates with what has been mentioned, say, in the Vedas. Countless years ago, everything matches. It's on dot accuracy. In that sense, Everything that has been mentioned in our scriptures that have been prescribed by the great Rishis have deep significance. They never say something just for the sake of saying it or because they have a certain bias. Never. There is deep significance in everything that they say and when we adopt it as a practice, we benefit tremendously from every one of them. That's really how everything is structured in Sanatana Dharma. Coming to the specific question of mantras. I don't even understand the meaning of this word. So what's the point of repeating it? How is it going to help me? That's a question in short. A question that pretty much runs in the minds of many of us, especially when we wish to understand the meaning of everything that we do, which is important, which is good. That is how we should approach things. But even if I do not understand the meaning, mere repetition of the mantra would still make a lot of difference. It would have such a positive impact on me, which is why it has been advocated as a practice in Sanatana Dharma. That is also true. It does not mean that one should not attempt to understand the meaning. The point I'm trying to make is that it does not matter. Mere repetition itself will help. I will tell you how. I will use a contemporary example, something that all of us can connect to in order to understand this better. A very beautiful Example that Sri Swamiji would usually use in this context. That's the beauty of his teachings and upadeshas. He would never talk about tall, difficult concepts which some of us will not be able to connect to. He would always use examples from day-to-day -day lives, things that all of us can very easily understand to explain the highest. That's the beauty of his teaching. It's a signature. And he would say, when it comes to mantras, he would say that forget this whole divine significance that is attached to it. It is there. The Bhagwan, the God and the Goddess to whom this mantra is dedicated, the, the devotion with which it needs to be done, all of it is true and that's how it works. But forget it. You don't even have to go into all of that because those are things that are, end of the day, based on experience and faith. Let's stop your logic and reasoning. Let's use a very contemporary example. Let's take it at that level itself, you would say. Sound impacts the mind. Of course, we know it in everyday life, isn't it? When I had a long day, I come back home rather tired. But there's a lot of things that are going on in my mind about what I have to do the next day at work. My mind is crowded with thoughts. They just don't stop. I just lie in my bed trying to get some sleep, but my mind would simply not go to rest. I keep thinking about this. I keep thinking about that. I keep imagining things. I'm, I'm worried about things. I'm fear certain things. I'm rolling in my bed, not sleeping. And then what happens is, I just decide to play some music, a gentle flute. It's playing in the background while these thoughts are going on in my mind. 
and little by little my attention shifts little by little these thoughts have not stopped but my attention shifts to that music and then i find that my mind is actually coming to rest because i feel sleepy simple and before i know i've actually dozed off and when i wake up in the morning i realize that oh the last thing i remember is i remember turning on the music system and listening to that flute music how did that work how has that flute or that music possess that ability to put me to sleep how does it work it works because that music that gentle music that sound impacts my mind in such a manner that it slows down my thoughts and gently puts me to rest the same can be said of a horror movie probably the best example to understand how sound impacts the mind if you are a horror movie buff even if you're not try doing this when you watch a horror movie have you ever thought about what really scares you is it what you see all those gory scenes and things popping from different places not really we may think so but not really what really grips you is the music the sound that's going on in the background the bgm that's really what impacts you i can prove it to you just try doing this get this horror movie that you think is the one that is scariest sit all by yourself play it first play out the scene i'm sure your heart is going to like really pound you'll get all sweaty when you see it and then come back and play it one more time but this time put the sound on mute no volume you will realize that it actually looks funny and clumsy it doesn't scare you as much what really builds that fear and anxiety is that sound little by little when that sound is playing in the background you feel this ball that's churning in your stomach it's ready to explode within you and then there's this high pitched shrieking sound all of a sudden and that is really what grips you so the fear in other words is caused more by the sound not by what you see in other words sound impacts the mind that's really what i'm saying there's a particular sound that makes us happy there's a particular sound that inspires us like how there are marching bands that inspire us that motivate us and there are some sounds that make us really sad what does that music got to do with sorrow nothing it's just music but then it makes me very sad why because sound different types of sounds have a certain way of impacting the mind and this is the basis of mantras the great rishis who sacrificed everything for our sake and performed penance for thousands of years knew this and they grasped these sounds that are ever present reverberating in the cosmos known as mantras divine sounds very very potent sounds and they have given it in the form of these mantras to us how come they heard it but i cannot if they are present everywhere it's like how the radio works there has to be an antenna and then you need to tune the frequency the sound waves are there but we don't hear it do we unless we have a radio and an antenna so when i fine tune my antenna my spiritual antenna by penance i begin to understand these sounds that are present in the cosmos which is what the rishis were able to do but i don't hear it today because my antenna is not fine tuned so they have given us these divine sounds in the form of mantras or a compassion so that i can recite it repeat it and benefit from it if a particular sound can cause fear if a particular sound can cause 
anxiety, if a particular sound can inspire me, if a particular sound can put me to sleep, if a particular sound can make me happy, if a particular sound can make my heart feel extremely heavy, a particular sound can also make my mind achieve that focus, can make that mind get into that state of one-pointedness which is the goal of meditation, which is the goal of every spiritual practice and that is what is known as mantra. Beautiful word in Sanskritam, which means mananat trayate iti mantraha, meaning that sound which on repetition protects the mind, protects us. And how does it protect it? brings it to that focus and that nothing is stronger and more powerful than a focused mind which is in fact the goal of every spiritual practice so that is how it works so i do not need to necessarily understand the meaning to repeat it or just because i do not understand the meaning how is it going to help me it would certainly help it is good to know the meaning but it does not matter chanting it would still help us achieve that mental focus. If I may go one step further with that mental focus, we will actually be able to understand the mantra itself. Thank you all. Thank you for your patience.